Aloha, we just had our new moon in Cancer on June the 28th, 2022. And so I'd like to reflect a little bit on some bigger picture things that we really need to get honest with. Why bigger picture? Because Jupiter's in Aries making a square to that new moon. So we just are still in a continuing rolling wave of pandemic rising and lowering of security measures. In some of the places that I frequent at work, we are now being required to wear masks all the time again. And I'm still hearing people talk about, oh, this was done on purpose. Oh, this was an accident. Oh, this is a man-made disease. Oh, this is just the natural evolution of viruses. You know, none of those arguments matter. Here's what's really going on. We are absolutely growing viruses, molds, and bacterias in laboratories. Why are we growing them? So that we can create antibiotics, vaccines, fungicides, moldicides, all of those things. There is a definite need for us to keep things clean both in the house, in the hospital. If we're going to have surgery where we need to make an incision, we need local antibiotics to keep infection out. The problem is that old saying from Jurassic Park, life will find a way. And so when we breed these things in laboratories, viruses, bacteria, fungus, mold, eventually they're going to get stronger because the poisons and killers that we create force them to become stronger. We are literally breeding superbugs because we want to kill their predecessors. And eventually we're going to need to learn how to kill these superbugs. But one or two of these superbugs will mutate and evolve into super duper bugs. So we really need to stop taking the blame out of things. Are we going to blame the U.S. government? Are we going to blame the Chinese government? Are we going to blame the scientists? None of that matters. What matters is what is happening. What is happening and what are the causes and the effects. If we do this, we're going to get that result. If we do that, we're going to do this result. If we continue to create poisons to kill viruses and bacteria and molds, the viruses, the bacteria, and the molds will continue to get stronger. And they will continue to escape these laboratories, regardless of whether or not it was on purpose. Because that doesn't matter. We have set it up so that escape is inevitable. There are too many factors. Either our protocol is not good enough, the people following the protocol aren't perfect, which by the way, no person is perfect, or some government, clandestine or otherwise, may cause an escape or breakout, be it the government funding it, or being a rival government trying to steal it, or not just human error and not just purposeful government intervention, but say, say a human being is having a mental health issue day or their girlfriend broke up with them the night before, their boss, whether or not they truly are, they feel like their boss is picking on them and they're angry at the world for even just a few minutes and they break protocol and they cause something to escape you see, that's just too many factors that we have allowed to be a potential just by doing these types of experiments, just by feeling like we have to have a need for a certain level of sterility. So we really need to ask ourselves, what is the value of dirt? 
What is the value of dirt? In the spirit of Uranus and the North Node being in Taurus. For this new moon in Cancer, let us ask ourselves, what is the value of dirt? And what can you truly create when you have the right kinds of dirt? Thank you.